All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today, we're going to be reacting to Organic's uh, latest video on his channel. As you guys can see, they came to Miami to confront me. Rail to real and a stunner Reese, man. Speaking of rail, man, whatever happened to uh, his whole thing about going to jail and uh, going to prison and that whole court case? You guys remember? It's been a while. It's been like at least a couple months ago. Honestly, feels like maybe a year ago, something like that. I don't know if you guys remember as far back when he got on video and he was like, he wasn't really vlogging for a couple of days and he said that uh, he got pulled over and then he spent, I guess, the weekend in prison or jail. And he's got this case and he's got a lawyer. And then I guess he brushed that fake story under the rug. Like, whatever happened to that? Whatever happened to that? And um, what is he wearing, man? What is this guy wearing? Can somebody please explain to me what is this man wearing? This looks like a bathroom rug. Where does he get this stuff from? Like Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that? Why is this man wearing a bathroom rug? What is that? What is he wearing? What is this man wearing, man? I don't even know where you buy this shit from. Where do you buy this? Like, um... Like, CJ on 32s was wearing them Amiris, and then I realized, like, I guess that's the new style, like, people wearing these, like, tight jeans. I guess that's, like, the new trend now, but what's up with this? This shit look like a bathroom rug, man. This looks like some shit I literally have in my bathroom. Like, this stuff is comfortable. Like, the rug I got in my bathroom, I don't know if you, got the, you guys got that same rug. It's like real fluffy and shit like that. But I didn't, you know, I didn't know they make jeans out of it unless he really took like a bathroom rug and stitched it into a pair of jeans. Like, where do you buy this shit from? Where do you buy this crap? What is he talking about? Rail talking about these guys are Miami living? What do you mean Miami living? Like hanging out by the CVS? That's Miami living? Like he doesn't even explore any other like part of that whole street other than the damn CVS. Like that's not Miami living, folks. Um, and why is Stunner Reese? Like I don't understand what is it with these guys and their outfits. I don't understand this shit. I really don't know this like what is he wearing? Are those like high heels? It's like ain't ain't it hold on man, ain't it hot in Dallas right now? I guess it's hot even in, in, in well it's hot in Florida. So why is he wearing this shit? This just gotta be real heavy on. Like don't you realize like a lot of celebrities and um I guess famous people for the most part. Like, their their whole, like, fashion style, it's real weird, man. It's real, it's, yeah, it's real weird, man. But I noticed this with Rail, like, his outfits, he got to be, like, stitching these bathroom rugs or something like that. Like, what the hell is this? Like, it looked like some homeless shit. Like, this is crazy. And then Stunner Reese in this video... He's wearing them like tight ass Alibaba AliExpress shirts that he be ordering online for like 50 cents and then trying to sell to you idiots. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, so that's the those are the tight jeans I was talking about before with CJ on 32s. But some people are saying these are the new style. Um I'm just curious, like, where do you buy the, uh, like, I'm for real, guys, I'm really serious, like, where do you buy this shit from? I've never walked into a store, I've been to Burberry, I've been to Louis Vuitton, Dior, Prada, um, True, True Religion, True Religion used to be, like, the shit back then, I've never come across these jeans, like, where do you buy this shit from? This has got to be, like, some 
bathroom rug custom stitching. Yeah, this looks like some half-assed vlog. But look, man, I got to tell you, man, what is it up with these outfits? He's got them weird-ass bathroom rug pants. And then Organic has got that tank top and them short booty shorts on. It's, it's weird. Like, these YouTubers now are real weird. And uh, let's talk about this because um, I've seen a few idiots talking about Stunner Reese's uh, raffle card. This Jaguar, right? Somebody said, I photoshopped this, right? This is photoshopped that this is like some old advertisement. Folks, you guys can go to Facebook Marketplace right now. Facebook Marketplace for Chicago. All right, let me scroll down so you can see. Because you, you even... You probably could Photoshop stuff like this. You probably could. Um, but maybe you can pull it off with like one advertisement, two advertisement, a couple photos. You you can't Photoshop all of these cars. Um, but like I said, if you if like these idiots that be in the comments, oh, you are you Photoshop this shit. This is not real. I looked. You didn't look. You just leave stupid comments because you support somebody that doesn't even care about you. Stunner Reese doesn't even care about you guys. He knows you idiots. It's the same idiots that leave stupid comments that don't even go check this stuff. Go to Facebook Marketplace for Chicago. And um, you can see the card. Like, it's weird to me. It's weird to me that um, he's raffling a car. That's currently advertised for sale. That's crazy. Like the same car that he's raffling to you guys is actually for sale. Like it's really gotten to that point now. It's gotten to the point where it's obvious. It's no longer like it's like a hush hush type of thing. Like the car that they're literally raffling off is a car for sale. Like y'all don't find this kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy. This is a car right here. It was on sale. It's on sale right now. It was originally sixteen nine ninety nine, and now they're trying to get rid of it for fifteen nine ninety nine. Same car. That's crazy. Like you gotta have a following of idiots that you can easily get on here. And just put on now. People talking about Photoshop. This is not Photoshop, but I guess you could Photoshop a whole raffle. You can make up a whole bogus raffle post a bunch of pictures of cars that you're never going to give away. You can hire a bunch of actors. You can bring people that you claim are the winners. Because that's crazy to me that the car you're raffling off is a car for sale. I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. Um, I would think if he bought this car, even if he didn't buy it, and maybe he's got like a partnership with this guy, and he says, hey, man, I see you're trying to sell this car. Let me raffle it off. I would think they would they would uh, pull the ad down. Like, why would the ad still be active? Like, I find that kind of suspicious. Um, and this is the same car, folks. 69,000 miles. 69,700 miles. This is a 2013 Jaguar XJL Portfolio Edition. It's weird, man. This is weird to me. It's it's really weird that you can raffle a car that's currently advertised for sale. This thing has been listed a week now. So, like I said, if the car was Stunner Reese's car, why is it still advertised for sale? And maybe the owner is working with him and trying to sell the car so they raffle it. It's, it's weird. Like, y'all don't find this shit kind of weird now? I guess we're at the stage, honestly, where people are so brainwashed in life that they don't even realize, like, they're getting scammed. They don't realize, like, they're literally, I guess, blind to it or something like that. Are people like that blind? Like, you can be like, yo, you're not going to win anything. The car that you're, you're entering raffles for 
and buying tickets. It's a car that's actually for sale. Like you can actually go buy that car. That's that's crazy, man. That's that's a whole other level of brainwashing. That's like a whole other we've reached a whole other level where you can easily fool people like that and then get on here and say I'm a real one. That's crazy to me, folks. That is crazy. Organic way. So I want to understand this. Um, So organic, you clearly see him right now, right? In the video. Um, This video is kind of like half-ass. So he's in this video with uh, Stunner Reese and uh, Rel. And he's going to a rented studio. This is what I told you guys the whole time. Like this studio is rented by like the hour or whatever. Like however the duration is. You pay and then you get studio time and they just... They set it up for you. They do the editing. They get the work done. So when he gets on here, like you've seen Organic jump on these live streams on YouTube and say that um, he he, he used to spend millions on the Organic brand by getting all the cars, right? Cars that he leased, right? But whatever, right? He says he spent millions on that to elevate his brand. And now he's putting the same amount of money into his podcast, So I'm like, hold on, what is he putting money into? Because he's literally renting a studio by the hour. He doesn't have his own studio in the house. He doesn't have an in-house studio and a team of people that he's employed. Like he's not, he doesn't have the setup like Fresh and Fit where they have to spend money on equipment and obviously employees and all that. So what is he putting money into? Like, you guys remember when he got on live stream a couple days ago? He's like, I'm I'm putting millions in this. Bro, you don't even have millions. It's like, it's weird. It's just crazy to me that he keeps talking about he's reinvesting that money that he used to invest in the organic brand into the podcast. I'm like, what is he investing into? Because he's just renting studio time for a couple hours. And then he obviously just sends the address to the people that he plans on talking to to show up there that's what rail did so this vlog is trash pretty much he's just like i guess promoting the um he's promoting the podcast and if you realize right if you look at his channel like only the vlogs get the views like nobody really watches that crap organically speaking trash nobody watches that crap like it barely gets like a thousand views two thousand views only when it's like something sexual or something like that that it gets like more views aside from that the shit nobody watches nobody watches it they used to watch it when tall guy was on there because tall guy is kind of funny and stuff like that but uh this organically speaking garbage he's talking about this shit is not going nowhere folks and he's not spending millions and all this goofy talk um and then I rail is gonna come on here basically suck on his dick it's weird, man. It's it's really weird. But again, let's get back to this raffle, man. I just want to know. Like, I just want to understand this. How can you raffle a car that's for sale? Like, does does this make sense, man? Does this make sense? How do you raffle a car? First of all, how do you come on here? And say that you are a real one. Everything you do, that's really your life. And there's no fake or phony. Whatever he said. What does he say? No fake, no phony. This is my real life and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so why the car that you're raffling is still for sale? Sir, why is the car you're raffling still for sale? People got to wake up, man. I feel like people are in a fucking coma. Wake up. 
You guys are entering, and then people are like, oh, well, the, 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 the raffles are legit. What's legit? Like, the Audi, I've never seen the winner. Who won the Audi? That whole goofy shit he did on video, on that live stream, call up a bunch of people. That could have been his cousins. That could have been his neighbor. It could have been uh, JoJo, the next door mechanic, and he gave him 30 bucks. He said, just pick up the phone. You, you realize, right? Like, right when he was announcing the winner or the system announced the winners, he magically got a phone call. That could have been JoJo next door saying, hey, man, uh, you going to call me? Because I didn't get a call. You said he was going to call me in an hour. And I really got to do something. It's like, come on, man. Where is the Audi winner? We need to see that winner in person. But then it could be JoJo next door. It could be his cousin. It's like some of this shit is just looking real sketchy now. Real sketchy. Because you can't sit here and tell me that there's a 2013 Jaguar portfolio edition just like his. Portfolio edition means it's a limited limited car 69,000 miles same mileage as the one he's advertising as a raffle and this car is still for sale and he's got a super sale for 35 bucks that gets you a thousand entries man wow that's crazy now that's crazy and you notice like no no modification that's the other thing. Like, he's not modifying this car. This car is literally as is. The same way it's advertised for sale. He's not changing anything about it, which makes it very strange, in my opinion, because I feel like maybe the car is not even going to get raffled. There's probably no winner, because if he actually changed something about it, that would make it his. But if he's not changing anything about it, more than likely, he's probably going to go back to the original owner or the owner that's advertising it, or they're going to just sell it. It's it's strange, right? Something is real fishy going on here, man. Something is real fishy. Something is definitely real fishy going on here, man. But let me know what you guys think in the comments.